Welcome back guys, I am Muni from smarttutorials.net This is a series of tutorials on how to integrate jQuery autocomplete with the Laravel cake PHP and coordinator. Please check the video description for the demo or download link. Most of this is final tutorial on integrating jQuery autocomplete with the cake PHP. In this tutorial, we are going to integrate multi text field jQuery autocomplete with the cake PHP. So, for this, uh, I have already created uh, the page called multi and I added the view file multi.ctp in uh, src uh, template in employees folder in employees folder also i created multi.js where we will keep our custom js related to the multi text field autocomplete other i created multi.js in webroot.js folder okay uh, next um so for this i am i i, I create in webroot i create just created images and kept uh, minus dot svg uh, that's needed for this Tutorial. One of my previous tutorial, I already covered how to dynamically add and remove table rows using jQuery. So please go through it. So for in this tutorial, I'm just copy pasting that tutorial code snippet and continuing from that. Okay. So I'm just copy pasting um, the code snippet from that tutorial. So just reload. So also I'm just uh, giving some styles, okay, just pasting the styles so that it looks bigger and it is to visible, okay. Uh, the next is, uh, I'm j also I'm just copy pasting uh, the JS. So in the JS, I have uh, already written all the functionality to add and remove table rows dynamically. Just reload. And check yeah so for if you check um, each text field um, uh, as the class name called auto auto complete text but uh, using this auto complete text I'm attaching the auto complete using the focus event whenever the text fields get focused I am calling this callback function in the callback function um, I'm attaching the currently focused element to the autocomplete functionality so uh, also to detect the which field is fo focused using data type um, each uh, text field has the field name name num code phone code iso code so here i am getting the um, the type of the field okay so using the type of field i am get the field number so i already written if it is type is name the field type is name uh, field number is zero so just i written some logic okay so finally uh, when they make when they enter something so i'll make ajax call to this get countries uh, get that is get method so also i'm expecting json response and pausing the whatever the value user enters also i'm pausing the field number based on that uh, i write the some logic in the back end to get the um, data search based on the search data okay i create uh, so also i created uh, get countries so whenever users uh, makes get countries i'm i'm adding a uh, routing whenever uh, they makes get countries request it it goes to the employees controller and get countries okay so when they get the response uh, so in the employees control what i am doing is whatever the posted uh, whatever the posted data uh, so whatever the when you make ajax call i am uh, sending this name and field number this name and field number uh, um, I'm getting through get query error cost get, get query method so if the name is empty I'm just returning empty JSON array because it expects a JSON data so when when name is there um, based on the field number I did uh, dynamically I change the query 
um, I form the query and finally get the data okay so when the field number is one it is num code when the field number is two it is a phone number when uh, phone code when the field number is three it is country code when the field number is zero it is obviously its name okay so i am just creating dynamic query finally i will make prepare this query and uh, i'm using prepared statement uh, in the execute method i'm just pausing whatever the name the value searched in this field uh, i'm just pausing that to the prepared query okay finally it executes and returns the returns the array so i'm just encoding it just encoding it and finally retaining retaining those data okay so i almost have done so to run the raw query you need to import the connection manager in using connection manager get the connection default connection and execute the query okay now reload the page enter in yeah it's in in multi dot chase have we already written so when when you get the response it will uh, I'm doing map action and assigning some value. So when you select any country, you will get the selected data. In the selected data, you will get uh, selected country details, name, num code, phone code, uh, phone code, and ISO. I'm just assigning okay, the status. Okay, uh, so that's it. So if you check any of the other fields, yeah. So so far we are not created any models. So but it is best practice to keep all database related uh, things in the models but we are not created any models as of now um, so in next tutorial uh, maybe i will create a model I'll keep the all database related things in the model itself uh, let's meet you guys in next tutorial uh, until then please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to get the updates immediately thanks for watching